A first tonight facing intense backlash. A judge walks back a decision about who got sole custody of a teenager at the center of a controversial custody dispute. It is the biggest development yet in a case we have been following for a week. Tonight, the investigative unit and Chris Nakamoto with the new details. Sylvia Michael, the court hearing was scheduled in a hasty manner and was supposed to address contempt allegations for Barnes. Instead, the judge threw everyone for a surprise when he undid the decision that placed tiny Tangipahoe Parish on an international map. Walking out of the Tangipahoe Parish Courthouse Tuesday, John Barnes didn't have much to say. What do you want to tell the public about your daughter? Moments before this, inside court, losing custody of a child he fathered through an illegal sex act. Mr. Nakamoto, thank you for your interest in the case. John Barnes was 30 when he fathered a child with Krista Abelseth, who was 16 at the time. She says she was raped after a night of drinking at a bar. Seven years ago, she filed a complaint with the Tangipahoe Parish Sheriff's Office, but it went uninvestigated, not assigned to a detective. Had Krista attempted to get back in contact with us at any point in time to ask the status of this or why hasn't someone contacted us, we would have certainly realized our failure. We would have certainly pulled the case, made sure it got assigned to the detective and investigated this case. Is that her responsibility though? She followed her report. It's not her responsibility, no. The sheriff admitted deputies dropped the ball and in dropping the ball and no charges for Barnes. John, would you like to say something? Custody of the child was awarded to Barnes. When he complained, Krista gave her daughter a cell phone. One week ago, the WBRZ investigative unit exposed what happened in this case that advocates and legal experts called perplexing. It's felony rape in Louisiana. Now things are happening fast. And the law is clear. That After Abelseth went public, hiring a new lawyer who took over her case for free when he saw the WBRZ report. People should be held accountable, right? The system failed everyone here. And the system, when that happens, should be held accountable, and we plan to do that. I feel like today is a win, and things are moving forward, maybe slowly, but it's progress, and things can only go up from here. Baton Rouge attorney Jared Ambo is now representing Abel Seth. We'll figure it out. Give me a call if you need me, okay? Yes, sir. He says there's no gray area in the law. I think we have a clear cut case, right? I think that we have a clear cut decision that, that can be made. Uh, but, we, but, but we have to present that to the judge, right? We have to build the case. Uh, and today, I think the judge took a, a, a great step, first step to um, finding justice in this case. And for Krista, seeing her daughter taken away from the man who she says raped her was satisfying. When I sat down with you, I didn't even know that. I thought maybe a few people would watch it on the news and then be like, oh, okay, that's sad, and move on. Um, the fact that we've gotten so much attention and that it's really pressed the issue to make these people do what they're supposed to do. Abel says, says she was re victimized over and over again after years of inaction by law enforcement and surprising rulings in favor of her perpetrator in court. It's, it's awful because it makes people not want to come forward. It makes people be scared and say, you know, well, I can't tell anyone about this because they're going to blame me. And I think that's absolutely outrageous. And I've come to a point now where I just don't care what other people think of me. If you want to blame me, if you want to say bad things about me in my past, that's fine. My life is basically an open book now because of the media. Today's ruling is temporary. A full trial is scheduled for July the 15th. Judge Cash told the lawyers in court today this case will not be tried in the media, and he doesn't care what's said. He says if the attorneys don't like his decision, they can appeal to a higher court. Michael.